The Kebi school attack is one of the latest in a series of school kidnappings that have rocked the country in recent times. The abductors usually demand a ransom before the students are released, and while many of the students have regained freedom, they have caused others were still being held in the den of their captors. Ra Ahidive, a security expert, now joins us on the news to speak more on the issue. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, the trend of school abductions have continued, and it's a unity school um, in Kebi State right now. Why do you think that despite all the threats by government, these armed criminals have become even bolder in their operations? Well, um, thank you for the opportunity. You see, as I speak to you right now, this series of incidents that have been going on, especially when we see our schools, being um, penetrated easily and children and students being taken away like animals. It has gotten to a stage where the irresponsibility of the Ministry of Education and the Commission of Education in every state must be held responsible and accountable because it is their duty to work in consonance with security agencies and generate intelligence. Why can't you put certain schools on high flag, red flag, and close the schools because of rising state of insecurity within and around the school. Because if nobody is held responsible, this same scenario, unfortunately, will continue to happen. And the trauma on these children, it's not saying, you can't say what extent and depth of traumatic experiences will affect their ability to perform academically. Now, the Safe School Initiative was created to avoid these kind of situations. Clearly, there is laxity in terms of implementation. But going forward, how can we guarantee the safety of students and schools? Well, um, one thing that we should know is that every school is caught up in its own geographical location. And if you put physical security risk attendance into place, you will understand that we could ascertain which schools are and going to be easily penetrated at this time. So going forward, the government, which we have said repeatedly, should immediately ascertain what schools should be open and wherever they are located, what kind of security parameters to put within such areas. Because before you get to a school, you must cross through its lines of perimeter protection. And every security agency that is deployed within the areas where we are schools operating in the Federal Republic of Nigeria must be able to know when the risk parameter is being escalated to the point where the student will be at risk. So the government was, must work in consonance with credit agencies. The Ministry of um, Education must work closely and they must be held accountable. Well, thank, thank you, you very much, um, um, security expert Roy Ohidiave, for your time on the news.